Hey everyone, welcome to another video and I'm back on my Thamax style optimal single seater 2022 and today on this beautiful absolutely glorious I'm just going to show you around absolutely glorious Sunday afternoon now I've come to Lake Bala in North Wales somewhere I've never been before despite living in North Wales for three years uh, and living in Shrewsbury and this has only been being 50 miles away uh, I said 50 miles away the roads aren't great to get here so it's about an hour and a half drive um, yeah I've never been here before and it's absolutely beautiful it's like a mini lake district it's beautiful um, I'm really glad I came today I was uh, get on the I got on the road and there's so much traffic coming into Wales I thought do I really want to do this but I'm glad I persevered because it's absolutely beautiful here and I have just paddled all the way up from the northern end sort of north and east, northeastern end of the lake where the sort of main uh, sort of visitors car park is uh, public car park and there's a sort of good old good launching points and um, yeah it's yeah, you have to pay so it's like it's three pounds for the car park for four hours or a bit more for all day I think it's uh, six pounds for all day something like that I didn't pay all day I just paid for four hours because I didn't get here till 1 p.m. Uh, and then you pay three pound fifty for a day pass essentially to launch your boat which is not bad and you can you can pay for like a weekly pass if you're here for you know on holiday and you can also pay for an annual pass if you're a local which is pretty good um i personally think whilst i'm not too far away from here i'm unlikely to come here often enough to warrant an annual pass but um there's some pretty nice camping and caravanning sites around here so i might find myself here for a week uh, doing some camping at some point so i might do a weekly pass so yeah i've just paddled all the way up from that end essentially against the breeze it's not a strong breeze today it sort of cut, came and came and went um and that's taken me about an hour it was uh what five and a bit kilometers roughly like that just under an hour so that was pretty good going with this thing against the breeze and and what is what is a little bit of choppy waters certainly down towards the bottom end uh, it's the top end i guess is the north end uh so yeah i, I i'm uh, pretty happy with that progress uh I'm going to head back now. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to find somewhere to stop uh, and get out for a bit because my butt is hurting a little bit. And also, I need a drink and probably find somewhere to have a, a fucking pull. And, uh, and then I will, we'll, I'm going to, I've come kind of straight up the middle of the, the lake to get here, but on the way back, I'm going to cut, hug the south coast. Uh, or that coast, I don't think it's the southwest coast, I guess. Um, and just look for some nice spots to come when I'm here in the future for like picnics or uh, even some wild camping dare I say I don't know whether you're allowed to do that but we'll see how we go uh, but certainly if not there's some definitely some good campsites uh, so I'm going to find a way to um, I'm also going to find a way to rig you up as I say you I mean the camera onto the boat some different camera angles than normal and uh, yeah we'll see how we go Looks like somebody's private lands. So can't see any signs though. water's pretty damn clear. Uh, the only 
problem with with the skegging. I can't get that close to the beach. Uh, it's maybe not as bad as I thought. Paddle is a bit of a ground. Well, I'm off again. Had a little bit of a break, a bit of water. Didn't bring any sort of tea or coffee or anything. It was a bit of a mistake. I was hoping there'd be somewhere I could get, to be honest, like a uh, like a lakeside pub or something like that, and there probably was over there. There's like maybe another water sports centre over there, but I didn't stop. It's quite busy. Uh, just stopped at a random beach, probably private property. Uh, I just had some more water, which I could have had in the boat, but I did want to get out of the boat for a little bit. Been in it for an hour and doing some pretty strange, uh, pretty intense paddling against the wind. So now I've got a gentle paddle with the wind coming over my left shoulder uh, and I'm going to follow the, uh, the insect on my face I'm going to follow the uh, coast so the coast the, um, the edge round and see what I can see and I'll turn you back on if I see anything interesting Beautiful looking camping spot. Some glamping pods, lodges, things, caravans, tents as well, caravan. 
Because we can't see since it's the awnings. Definitely tense on there. The family might have convinced them to come next year, maybe. Beautiful. Alright, let's press, up, press on for home. We're heading for those buildings. You probably can't see them on the camera. I'll point them out when we get a bit closer. I'm using the Navigate Home. Or well, Navigate Back to Start setting on my watch for the first time. And if you saw that, three and a bit kilometres to go. Pretty warm now. Uh, I'm paddling with this, the debris, so I'm basically not feeling any breeze whatsoever. But at least it's pretty much no effort to maintain sort of uh, five minute per 500 meters or 10 minute kilometers. So I'm going to shoot for this bit of headland here. And then I'm gonna go across the lake to home rather than going right around the coast. So I reckon another half an hour and I should be back. And then it's just a case of drying the boat as best I can, putting it in the car, driving home, getting it all back out again to inflate, wash off, dry again, and then put away again. But that's the breaks with having an inflatable boat. But at least I don't have to have a roof rack or strap anything down to my roof or anything like that. And I'm not hiring anything. I love inflatable boats. But it is pretty warm without any breeze, I mean. 
But if it gets this headline, let's just have a bit of a drift while we'll I have a drink of water. They have these uh, numbered barrels or buoys or whatever you want to call them all the way around the edge of the lake probably about no more than 50 meters in from the edge so I wonder if there's some kind of like sailing course or something like that and uh, you know maybe if I'm back here another day I've got a bit more time I might sort of see if I can record a circuit of them see how long it takes me and then try and better it the next time. You know what I'm like, try and better the data. You know, that's what we do, isn't it? Anyway, I've got, let me see if I can show you that. I've got Let you watch. Got just over two kilometers to get back to the start, which is over there somewhere. You maybe just can't see it. Uh, about there so I'm gonna push on for that see if I can get there in another 20 minutes or so not 20 minutes actually it'll be more like 40 minutes no it won't be it'll be about 20 minutes hopefully got the wind behind me you see you probably see the ripples going away from me and this boat just glides so when there's either smooth water or where you're going with the the slight ripples It just handles every kind of water I've put out it now. Uh, still got some to do. Obviously, I haven't done any kind of white water, which I'm, you know, I said white water. I haven't got any sort of fast, fastish flowing water. Uh, so yeah, but everything else. mount and that float is kind of just in my uh, PFD pocket and then the pocket sort of zipped up so that it can't come out but it doesn't exactly hold it very well. I do have like a clip, almost like a crocodile clip kind of thing for it which I was meant to bring uh, but I must have left it in the car. I think I did I think I did bring it but I must have left it in the car because uh, it's not in my uh, dry bag unfortunately. Uh, I was going to use that to try and Mount it places, uh, certainly on my PFD. E. And then I just need to find a way of fixing it to the boat. Well, not fixing it, but um, securing it. Some kind of flexible tripod that I can sort of jam under the boat, I think. Or jam under the sides of the uh, cockpit, is what I'm thinking. So I'll get that ordered at some point.
I did forget to bring my gloves today, which is a bit of a shame, so I'm almost certainly going to have blisters. I can almost feel them forming already. There's always something I forget. I need to be better at getting my stuff ready. It was a bit of a last minute decision to come here. Uh, but yeah, I need to be better at getting my stuff ready the night before. I uh, also didn't have anything charged, so I had to... I left, ended up leaving, late, leaving the house later than I intended simply because none of my batteries for my GoPro were charged so uh, I needed to give it an hour at least to put some charge in those thankfully I've got a dock that charges all three batteries at once I don't know if you can see that, but 500 meters from the start. So in range now, five minutes, and uh, we'll be back. It's just the wind is slightly blowing uh, left to right as I head, uh, as I head towards the, the landing point. So it's just pushing me a little bit further right than I want. But nothing that my uh, paddle stroke can't fix. Well, I'm back. I'm going to have to get out because the beach is quite shallow here, so uh, my skeg is going to scrape uh, probably within the next 10 metres or so. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get out. So, I'm going to leave it there. I'll, uh, thanks for joining me for this video and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Around Lake Ballet, highly recommend it. I'll definitely be back. Bye for now.